Hi, this is Mr. Judd, and today we're going to do some graphing by hand. We're going to take this data, and we're going to plot it onto this grid. This experiment shows some yeast growing in a fermenting flask, and over 30 minutes it produces some amount of gas because it's doing cellular respiration. It is, this experiment is run at different temperatures, and at each different temperature we get a different amount of gas produced. So first let's talk about how this grid is going to be set up. Our temperature here is on our x-axis, and by the way, your independent variable always goes on your x-axis. That makes sense. We are varying the amount of temperature in each one of these setups. The y-axis over here, y to the sky, that's how I remember it, y goes up and down, is going to be our amount of gas produced. So that's our dependent variable, which is the data that is collected. Uh, let's begin. We're first going to have to figure out what the scale should be on each of our axes. This is actually the most difficult part of graphing, figuring out the scale. This is how I suggest you approach doing scales. First of all, ask yourself, what are some easy scale numbers? The easiest scale number of all is 1. It's easy to count by 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. 2 is also pretty easy. 2, 4, 6, 8. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 5s are pretty good too. So these are our easy scale numbers. Hopefully you get a graph that can be scaled that way, but don't count on it. The next one up, if we need a bigger scale number, could be 10, then maybe 20 and 50. Notice the same pattern, 1, 2, 5, well, 10, 20, 50. You could also go down and do 0.5 um, and so on down the line. But if you use a 1, 2, or a 5, um, usually a scale will work out with one of those multiples. Now let's do temperature. Looking at our temperature data, you will see that the biggest number we have to get to is 80. Some people make the mistake of saying, oh, well, I'm about to do the scale, so why don't I just take these numbers and put it on the scale? And that is a mistake. These numbers are not a scale. Look, this jumps 15, then this jumps 20. That's not even. Your scale should be even. This is your data. It's going to be plotted as, as points or plots on this grid. So which scale number should we choose for this data? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squares. A good choice would probably, looking at these, would probably be 10. Let's do 10. That'll work out. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. You can also get away with just labeling every other. So 20, 40, 60, 80, and stopping there. Just make sure that you know what you're doing if you're skipping numbers. So that's a decent scale. We got to our max number. Now let's take a look at the gas produced. Our biggest number is 12. That's our max number. That's what we have to get to. And we have to get it somehow plotted on this scale. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares to work with going up the y-axis, I think we can get away with 1's, the easiest scale number of all. I'm going to do every other, though. I'm going to go 0, skip 1, 2, skip 1, 4, 8, 10, 12. We got to our max number. We're good. Once you get a scale down and you make sure that it's even, the rest is easy. In fact, at this point, I'm going to speed up the video, and I'm going to plot these points. Most people have no problem plotting the points, even if they don't fall immediately on where two grid lines cross, you just have to put it, estimate exactly where in the box each plot is going to go if it doesn't fall right on the grid. So here we go. Okay, I have my plots pointed from the data. All of them are done. But now what do I do? Well, since I read the instructions, I know that I'm supposed to circle each plot and then connect them. You would use a straight edge for this, but I'm just going to do this quick so you can see. And a mistake people make at this point is they will often want to continue the line either down or back to 0, 0. Notice there's no point at 0, 0 on this graph. You do not need to connect. In fact, you should not connect it down to 0, 0. That's not a point. In science graphs, you should only connect the data that you actually have. That is the way to graph by hand using my quick, easy scale numbers, choosing the correct one. And if you make a mistake, don't forget, you can always erase since you used a pencil and go back and fix